need to target Mark's low back. For sure. Sounds good? Yeah. Okay. I've got him on what's called a hyperextension bench, and Mark's going to demonstrate a great exercise for low back. Most gyms have these, so give it a try at your place. Go ahead and assume the position, Mark, here. All right. Um, Mark's going to be going up and down here, and again, this is going to be extension of the low back. The machine's called hyperextension, but really, we do not want to hyperextend, which means to come all the way up, arching backwards. So what Mark's doing is keeping his back fairly straight and going down and up until he comes up to a neutral position and at the very top of the motion there's a straight line through his body down through his knees. You don't want to come all the way up and arch backwards. This is working the low back a tremendous amount. You might feel some glutes in here, some butt muscles, also hamstrings, the back of your legs. But the, the main emphasis or where most people feel it the most is in your low back. And um, the anatomy of the low back is very interesting because there's just a ton of muscles down there. There's muscles that go up two or three segments of your spine. There's muscles that might go six or eight segments of your spine. Then there's muscles that almost go the entire length of your spine. They're all called spinal erectors. And there's so many little teeny ones, it's kind of hard to you know identify each from the other when you're performing an exercise. But together, um, it's a great way to target those spinal erectors with this type of exercise. Feel good? Yeah. Excellent. Okay. All right. Um, Something that you've mentioned is going into a gym and the environment is where there's a lot of people in great shape, um, it's sometimes intimidating, sometimes people, you know, feel like people might be pointing or staring or whatever. Um, was that a, a choice in going to a gym for you? I mean, is that a factor? Or? Well, it was, it was intimidating before I came to Sensible Fitness, but what I figured out by working here was those people don't matter to me. Um, it's just, it's just about me and I have to stay focused. It's not just a physical thing when you're exercising. There's some mental aspects to it. Okay. And so I spend my time thinking about what I'm doing, what I need to do, how I need to do it, and what I'm going to do next. Okay. And so the other people are there, but it's just part of the environment. Okay. Just like the TV screens in the background. Okay. And when you said you described yourself as a mush ball when you started. I did. <laughs> I did. Uh, I am. Um, Is the mush ball feeling gone? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I, I still have obviously a lot more opportunity to continue to strengthen, but I, I feel, I know how much stronger I am. I can feel it. Right. I see it in my daily life. I feel it in my energy levels. And, um, um, you know, I mean, I, I know I should be losing some more weight and so forth, but I know that I've been stronger and healthier as a result of this workout routine. Okay. So you don't feel like so self-conscious that you don't have the mushball feelings when you're going to the gym on your own now. You know, it's like I, I don't really care what other people think. Yeah. I, it's really, it's all about me and my focus. That's great. And I, and I feel like this is the time I give to myself during the day. Right. The rest of the time I'm working, taking care of other people, dealing with other folks. Right. But, but this is my time. Oh, that's good. Good. Second set. Night. Mark has made a, an incredible point here. People spend so much time taking care of others, taking care of spouses, kids, house, job, everything except themselves. And to dedicate some time to yourself is a fantastic thing. And um, Mark's wife, by buying him personal training sessions, uh, made that habit happen for him. Now it's a habit. It's his lifestyle. He takes care of himself. He dedicates time to himself. One of the things you do not want to do on this machine, and what Mark is doing a great job of, is not going so far down that you start rounding your back, okay? If you round your back, it can put undue pressure on the disc in your spine. So we ask you to keep your back fairly straight and go down and up. You don't want to go down and round. And uh, some people try to, they think it's better to go all the way down to the ground. Well, if you're rounding your back and doing so, again, it can cause a little bit of pressure on the disc. We want to stay away from that because it could lead to a herniated disc. <laughs> and um, you've never had, have you had any back problems or anything? Or? No, occasionally, you know, I feel like I've pulled muscle or okay. something like that, but nothing significant. The typical no. stuff most of us people over 40 deal yeah. with, you know? Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. Great exercise for the low back. How about if we do one more exercise and visit a little bit more? Great. Okay, let's do it.